Six black men versus one secret white guy. <laughs> this, I mean, that's just an incredible video idea. <laughs> so let's see how entertaining this actually is. Um, <laughs> I, there's, well, well, there's one way to end this video quite quickly. But I have a slight feeling that's not going to be what's happening, considering this is a 20 minute video. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. Okay, for sure. As if that's some crime. One of them is white. Okay, for sure. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, Damn. for sure, for sure. He's a group project. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, and Rosebud is actually my street, mate. my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name. Fitzgerald. Fitz is like the nickname people call me. Nice. Baby, That's Fitzy. a white name. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I, mean, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too, you can't you even see that. him, what you talking about, that, bro? That too. I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You I wasn't even that. funny. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a <laughs> skeleton all red, like varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants on the crazy. side. What's up? We match it right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you crazy. Yeah. You I wish I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now, buddy. Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going. You said half black, half white. Half black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. It was one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink. It stink <laughs> real bad. What are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, Straight Outta Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black. You know, for a second. Yeah, I grew up on classic yeah, rock from my mom's like side, and then I grew up on Motown strange. from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> yeah, Telling them, stick your ass down. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we know where, basically. Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. Thanks. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sing that I honestly didn't know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? What? <laughs> Ain't no That's another. a famous line, y'all. I got another. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. <laughs> Complete this song. Uh, that boy got stretch, stretch pants. pants. That boy got <laughs> stretch <laughs> pants. <laughs> what is that? I got one. I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. You used to cook your room, yeah. Me and your mama whipping we... it up. Mm -hmm. That food is snacking. I was huh. listening so intently on, on voices because you ever been on the phone? Half of them don't even like know. telemarketer. You can tell it's a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints. You know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that call and response. Yeah. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. will. Who, who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they notice. This is true. What flavor of Kool Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple? 
Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's most us right there. You think great? Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that. What you just said. Wait, wait, hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. We used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool Aid, not purple. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I I grew up with a bunch of friends and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors. Say stop. <laughs> in the summers, it was either if you outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, one no running in and running up up and inside your house, you know. So y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't let that good air out. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the '90s, who do you think of off it? Be alone. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say uh uh uh. uh I she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett, or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Man, you taking forever. <laughs> Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther, who was the queen. You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. There, Angela Bassett. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from. That runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyrus from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. <laughs> When it comes yeah. to he is being black like he man, hasn't said much. Microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I'd be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the life. Diversity. For, Yo. for the diversity, right? I'm like, they're only 5%. I got to give them credit, though, because like finding us, it's going to be a little bit tough. But like they, they found a way regardless. I ain't ever going to lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't never get that far. Like college. That's you know, like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's like the low-key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like, you're so well-spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a Hello, grown man. black guy. You're so well-spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game, you walk down the street, right? And a white folks see you, the first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face, you know what I mean? Or they give you space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch the purse. Yeah. Micro yeah. Clutch like, the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. Hella room in the elevator, too. Stare at you like, exactly. you ain't supposed to be here. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like, Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So you already know. Like, I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man. I watched the, uh, the first Power Rangers movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, oh Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, facts. facts. Hard is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. Oh, wait. Ball. You watch anime? Uh, uh, what you, do. what you like? What you like? I can talk about for shows and gateway. Oh, Y'all, Naruto. Come on. I'm like, don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh no. No, that was good. Hey. Let's watch the Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shot, though. Come on. I was literally just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Superhero. Static shot. Uh, I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you uh, did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single black, every. And single. Samurai Jack. He has yeah. got range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Yeah. Too much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. Even <laughs> if you white, we gotta tap in for real. Hey, you have to. Yeah, you be like. But, uh, wait, hmm. Why does that bother you? You yep. <laughs> 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 really have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being. Uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff, and like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew, like, the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism stuff, so he kind of had, like, the hesitance mm -hmm. for, like, those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members, like, say, hey, like, I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so, you know, she used to be on that. Uh, and she was older when she had me. She was already, like, in her late 50s, so okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put... They just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, 
you know, we would love for it to be a black woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was actually the same for me. They never said don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that. But I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister for sure. Like, oh, shoot. Like, you're, you're with somebody who understands you. Right. Who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day to day to day basis. From the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever too. But, like, I appreciate a sister. Like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. I don't get this voting system. They should go back to the editing of it. We have a tie like between voting. Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Like I said, um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man. But it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard. I don't know. I'm black, y'all. I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert. I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters, and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. Because 15 seconds say something. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged, and really? I relate more to struggle. How hearing some of the things he was saying. Him? It kind of like made me think and like second guess. Slipping through the cracks here. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> it looks like we are tied again. Wow. Oh, good what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I. I'm just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where he could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm. Uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking. I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So, nice. I'm going to say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's a fact, Rob Black. You yeah. sound like people from around my way. So, he, no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you got to take rocks. <laughs> I, I, I hear it in Brendan's voice, sure. too, though. Like, never that's watched it, man. I hear it in both. Yeah, but, I hear it, yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob, and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like... He is you going to really relate? Yeah. Somehow smack. You know, I no think disrespect, that... What but... does hit a lick? After some heated debate. <sighs> Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay, it's all good. I think the mole is still in the box and you want to continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop! Why, what are you doing? Are you what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. <laughs> Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. Really, I already said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. All right. So let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's Why like you? one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better? In? Or like a hot take about like black people in you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the U.S. Um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out. And this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those 
continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never stays within the black community. The game banger. Yeah. That got to stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where, you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I'm supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it's, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. I feel that. Hmm. So it's just, it's, that's, that's the first thing, gotta go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, mm. I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Subi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, yeah. you know? Yeah. I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against, like, the school or anything of the people who's around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like, the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot because uh, have been just, like, not open-minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of, like, the media, but I think sometimes we over-sensationalize, like, our pain. And I think that there's so much more to, like, the black community, whether it's joy or, like, having a good laugh or something. Like, there's just so much more to us than, like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in, like, our movies, our TV shows, just, like, the way we talk about, like, the way we talk about things. Like, I think there's just so he much more to the black community than that. I want to see black people doing goofy He's stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yes. Come on, now talk about it. Or criminals, or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're yeah. gangsters. Yeah. 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 No, that's not yeah. even, like, a thing for America, but, like, you go to China, you go to, like, some of these other places, like, that's all they see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Word. Y'all yeah, gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Say Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Come on, If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. Ooh. He's lying. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three, two, one. It is red. That means the mole is still here. I can't believe the fact he... You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, (laughs) two, one. What? This is, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. That's wrong. That's wrong. No. That's wrong. No. I'm Brevin. What? Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin? Yo. Listen, yo. I what? They got some you, yo. They got some you. Imagine this, imagine this. Hey, yo. <laughs> of course, there's been like a couple white boys who nice. cool, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they called me Milk. I'm from South Central. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like a, out the hospital to a, a, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until yeah, I was like that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white oh, kid at every party, yeah, yeah, every from the study, birthday. Well, but I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. Just, and yeah. your whole family, like, they just all accept you. Because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, 
they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's Thanks. almost a um, lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. <laughs> What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like, me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. Nice. Quite interesting video. Quite very, very surprised he won, but until I actually like saw why like he he's lived with black people his entire life all that. Very, very intriguing video. Enjoyed it. <laughs>